Welcome, my dear fellow Vikings. I hope you're all doing incredible. This is Blondie speaking. Let's get into this episode. Another exploration episode. We're going to expand upon this landmass that we found up here. Still a few unexplored spots. We've got a plain section here. And we've got a little bit of the swamps left to explore here. I'd like to do all of those things. And I'd also like to try a couple of theories around maybe mining some of the critters and stuff in this area here. In the, in the plains on the on the edge of this island. So I'm going to try it some stuff out. We're gonna, we're gonna play around with it, see if we can make something work. That's gonna be this episode. Now before we go any further though, I do need other equipment, so let's grab the bits we need. Let's grab, you know what? One of the things I did say, yep, there it is. It's just, <laughs> it's just reminded me. Um, one of the things I did say I wanted to do was plant some turnips, because we discovered those. There we go. Come on, hop. Discovered those last episode. You know what? While I'm there, I might as well plant some carrots as well. Let's plant, say, I don't know, 10 of those. And let's do that first, straight up. I did say I was going to do this, so... Hop. There we go. All right. So, let's pop down. Now, figuring out the distance is kind of tricky, apparently. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, you're kidding me. Are you for real? Uh, right. It's quite enough of this. Alright, we've got... We've got something else. Oh, he's inside the base. Let's open this up so that he can get out. There we go. You a-hole. Go on, all of you. Get stuffed. That won't be too bad to fix up. Let's go around these guys. Oh, that hurt. Not as much as I thought it would, though. Do they, though? Because we are still going. Is he healing? I'm surprised that neck didn't get hit. Alright, um, yeah, crap. I'm aggroing all sorts of dudes here. Oh, for Christ's sake. Can they not hit each other? That would be lovely. How the hell do we get another neck on us? I don't care about the neck. Really don't care about the neck. Get one of these guys down at least. There we go. Really don't like it when it misses like that. So annoying. Burn, baby. Upsitutol. Come on. Hell of a way to start the episode. But... Oh, 
cheeky. Eat that, you prick. Right. See, it was all nice and dandy, and then all of this crap had to happen. There's something inside my base tearing something up. I better not be hearing what I think I'm hearing. Blondie is already upset. Sidetracked the perfectly good episode. Come on, guys. Let's sub that out. Um... There is something in there destroying, I think. Come on, let's get this over with. Alright. Yep, something's getting torn up there. Let's go and have a look. Come here, you. I hear you. You do not. Neither do you, clown. Did they not destroy anything? Oh, man. They took out rocks. I thought for sure they destroyed something here. Yeah. Well, well, well. Come here, you. Welcome to Valheim, everyone. Ah, uh, you know what? Just regular arrow you. Where are you going? Fine, bugger off. Leave my house alone. God damn. What a monumental cluster. This guy spawned right inside the base. No other way that he could have got in here. So I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to craft something here, I think. So he tried his best. He, he had a good shot. I saw him... I thought I saw him attacking some of this stuff here. He hasn't... He hasn't really done much damage at all, that I can see. It's good. I don't really want any of it to be damaged. Ooh, that was almost down. That was almost down. That could be because of the weather, maybe? I don't know. Right, well. Uh, I hadn't planted the second turnip, had I? Let's get back to what we were doing originally. I have no idea... Uh... Oh, am I out? Already? Yeah, so... Did he waste a seed there? Did he trample through? Destroy some of my stuff? It's kind of looking that way. A-hole. But, let's plant this stuff now that we've got the opportunity. I'm just going to plant it around the outside here. Sweet. Alright, that's everything. Man, oh man. What are we, like, almost 10 minutes in? Already had a base attack. Alright. It's good that the wood has sort of fallen here too, because I do need that for this episode, so... Thank you. That can stay there. Is it worth bringing stuff for torches? Maybe it is, I don't know. I need to bring some rocks with me, so let's grab some of those. Let's grab this. The cultivator can stay back, obviously. Troll hide. Lots of troll hide. Now, I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful with what I bring with me. That can stay there. Treasure! Where is treasure? There you are. Have I got everything else that I need? Alright, the other thing I need to do is work out my food stacks. So, let's have a look at some of the stuff we've got here. Yeah, it's probably better if I go over and check. Let's have a look at the cauldron. 
Alright, so health 23, stamina 23. Carrot soup is quite low on health. Deer stew, on the other hand, is quite high. So I think deer stew is probably not a bad way to go. Stamina is low. But the boost in health would be excellent. As compared to, yeah, 35. So it's a plus 10 and a plus 3, respectively. Lasts for 25 minutes. Uh, mead based tasty. Lower health regen, but increased stamina. Yeah, definitely don't want that. Minced meat sauce. Ooh, health of 40. So stamina takes a hit, which is a little bit of an issue. Um, let's add up the numbers. So we've got 45 here. I don't want to undersell my stamina, that's the only thing, but I don't think I have too many alternatives. Carrot soup. Alright, I think that's going to have to be the way it goes. It's going to need to be carrot soup, deer stew, and probably the minced meat. So we need boar meat, necktails, and carrots. Lucky we saved those. Boar meat, not many. Necktails, and... Have I used all of it? No, I haven't. Okay, thank god. Nectails and carrots. Uh, I need some mushrooms. I'm gonna say, can I upgrade this? Or upgrade something? Okay, I didn't. I only just noticed that tab now. Interesting. Uh, what else have we got here? Do I not have regular? Oh, they're cooked next tails. Regular I've got up here. There we go. Alright, so we also need some mushrooms. And what else do we need? We need some cooked deer meat as well. Let's grab that. These cloud berries, what are they like? Oh, 40 stamina. Snap. Lasts for 15 minutes. Yeah, these aren't actually... These are actually a pretty good choice without cooking. I reckon. Weight 2.9, they don't weigh that much. I could put the honey back and I could just rely on those. I reckon that might be a better way to go. Alright, let's cook up this other stuff. So, carrot soup. I'm gonna need... Alright, I think this will be nice and quick to do. Carrot soup. Should be able to do a whole bunch of these. Nope, just two. I'm out of carrots. Alright, two carrot soups. I'm going to save these for now. And in the meantime, uh, let's do that. What I should also do is grab some of these purge berries. Let's grab. Oh, I shouldn't need many. Shouldn't need that many. Come on. Right, so I'm gonna leave this and this here. They don't need to come with. That doesn't need to come with. Uh, I suppose I'll take the jerky just cause. And we've got some of this meat here. I'm gonna grab six of those. Right. Now that we've done all of the other bits, so in terms of... What else do I want to take with me? Do I want to take the Stag Breaker? I kind of do. Alright, in terms of food, I think we've got as much as we dare to carry. For exploration, I'm going to take the Bronze Pickaxe. Uh, I'm going to need to build, so I'm going to take that. Almost thinking it might be worth taking the hoe as well. That's what I was originally looking for when we got attacked. Where on earth did I put the hoe? Did I skip over it somewhere? Where are you? Where the hell did I put it? Is it at my other base? Is that where I put it? P 
probably, hopefully. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, got some meat here. Where the hell did I put my hoe? There you are. I was gonna say. That's just rude. How does this attack again? Okay, there's that one versus the stab. I'm looking to drop some of this gear off. I don't think I need all of these weapons with me. Just pick some staples and we're gonna go with them and we're gonna leave the rest behind. I think three should cover the broad spectrum of the types of damage that we can do. That's my rationale, at least, anyway. Uh, are these finished? They are not. Okay, that's fine. Right, so in terms of putting stuff away, we're going to put the spear back. We're going to put... Obviously, we're going to keep the axe. I think if we've got the axe, though, we probably don't need the sword. I'm going to put the sword away. Let's put the axe up here. We'll promote you, my friend. Probably don't need the bronze pickaxe. Oh, no, I do need that. Sorry. My bad. I don't know if I'll need the hoe, though. That's the only thing. Decisions. I do need some more wood, though. A little bit more wood would be good. How much wood is good? Just a little bit more would be good. I can collect some on the way. That's actually not a problem. The other thing I need to grab, now that I think of it, is... Oh, crap. Two of you, and... Ten of you. Or another portal for exploration. Because if you remember, we placed a permanent portal, so this one is no longer connected, the home portal. Let's pop one of those in. Okay. I feel like we're... Hello. What did you leave behind? Well, well, well. Alright, need a little bit more wood. Bear with me. We have all the wood we need here. There will be more, don't you worry. Okay. Nope, we are not grabbing from that chest. That's a silly idea. That's regular wood, I'll take that. And 12 fine wood. There we go. You know what? Might as well put this stuff in here. Oops, not those. Those. Right, we have enough for exploration. That is quite a lot of stuff. Weight-wise. get some rest. The preparation can take a little while. I'm not against it, I'm just hoping that it's not boring for you guys. Alright, what have we got here? Turnip is healthy... What does that actually mean? Can I just... Can I pluck this now? No, I can't. Okay. I think. I'm assuming when these are ready, there'll be like a, a prompt to press E to pick them up. I would expect them to take more than a few hours. Okay. Right, so we have another portal ready to go. This is Island 6, which is this boy right here. So we're going to head up, we're going to check out the swamps here. There's going to be some planes which will skirt around and scout those out too, see if there's anything significant there. Uh, failing that, I'd like to go and check these planes out here, but yeah, some things to try. Things to experiment with this episode.
There we go. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we are going to need to head up in... Nope. That direction. Ish. Hmm, cop deposit. Apparently turnips are a good find. Oh, huge thank you to everyone who participated in um, in the voting as well. Really? What is going on here? Why is why is this? Why is this? It's just like an outhouse or something. That's weird. Uh, crazy Vikings. Back on task. Thank you to everyone who took part in uh, the voting to determine whether you would like to see the build process, so the experimentation and stuff that I go through for building and laying out foundations and stuff, whether you wanted to see that in the game or not. And so far, when I check the votes, it looks like the response has been overwhelmingly positive to me doing it all offline. Something is... Oh... Frickin' mosquito. Right there. Right there. Do you know what? This is a good spot for it. This is a good spot to try what I wanted to do. Only problem is... Excuse me while I get sidetracked yet again. Uh, Alright, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Let's, um... Let's, um... Um, um, um... Building. Crafting. There we go. Okay, can I use this? I can. Cool. Alright, that can go. And I think if I put... I suppose if I put a door here, it makes a lot of sense. Like this. I'm not sure if this will work at all. At all. This cheeky little bugger will likely come in from elsewhere. Right, well we're here, so let's purge. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that is simultaneously disgusting and hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Let's see how that looks on me. Hey? Now as I was saying, I'm not going to be able to use this and this together, obviously. Yep, of course. I do want the shield. Just try and break it up a little bit. Although... Ooh, we've got a mountain here. Where is that little guy? I see you. Oh, missed him. Just missed him. Ha! Suck it. That's got to come back and haunt me, isn't it? He's going to have buddies somewhere. Let's keep ourselves prepared at all times. Waiting for another stagger attack. Meanwhile, we'll spam the cloud berries. What was that? Okay, well that wasn't the goal, but I am actually really happy that I was able to gauge the distance. There you are. There you are, you big mofo. I see you. I see you, my guy. This is what I came for. This is what I came for. Alright, new question. Can I build something on here? I can. I can. I don't know if locking myself in is a good idea. It's not originally what I had planned. Let's put that away. This is what I had planned. 
Let's see if we can make this happen. What I want to do is create a bit of a barrier around me. Something that hopefully shouldn't be passable. I have no idea whether this will work. It needs to be pretty damn steep from what I understand. That should work. As long as I can keep that lip, that should work. Again, I don't know if this is plausible. I don't know if this will work. I'm testing this out. This is an experiment. chop around this thing. In fact, if I just chop through here, that should be sufficient. I think. Just need to create a big dip here. Something that's not easy to pass. How's this looking? Got a bit more work to do. But I think this will work. So basically what I'm trying to do is create an artificial barrier. Something that this creature won't be able to get past and will allow me to take some easy cheap shots. Again, I have no idea. There are probably people who either know this technique exists and are going, yeah, it's not going to work for you. Um, or, maybe you're cheering me on. Maybe it will work. Maybe, I'm sure someone has thought of this before. It'd be impossible not to. The question is whether I get this deep enough. That's the real question. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got him at just the right time. That was lucky. That was lucky. Alright, you know what? On the threat of death, because this is a thing, Workbench says get stuffed with your spawns. Stay away. Hopefully that will keep them away. That seems way too shallow. That should be better. I could bust this. Let's do it. There we go. He's hoping this pays off. It would make me happy if I could confirm this works. to be a little bit steeper. Oh, I could see that. I could see that causing them a lot of issues. A little hole like that, maybe. This is not quite how I envisaged what I wanted to do. What I was originally going to do was create a shelter. But with open slits through it. So, murder slits. If you know what those are. Uh, I get the feeling this guy's going to hit like a truck as well. He's going to try and come around the outside. Or is he? What you doing there, little fella? He is. Yeah. Come on, Chuckles. Down you go. Nothing? Oh, I'm full. Am I full? With this way too much. Black metal scrap. What on earth are you? 
Hello. Alright, let's drop some of these rocks. Clearly don't need them. Black metal scrap. Interesting. Didn't unlock any more recipes, so I'm assuming I can't do anything with them anyway, but... That's something, but also means I can't use a portal. I have to transport these back the old-fashioned way. Alright, well, this technique seems to be working. Did a fair job of keeping him out. Upsy doodle, there we go. Alright, so we just need to connect back up to. Come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. This will be worth it. I swear. It better be worth it. It better be worth it, I tell you. Let's make this a little bit deeper. There we go. Right, this should be impossible to get up. For those creatures, that's the thought. Right? Not sure if they could potentially get up that way. We have a bunch of outs, potentially. What are you? You are a stone. That's what we dropped. Yeah, right. Black metal scrap. That sounds like an awesome name for a metal band. Cool. Look at the stamina. Stamina is awesome. All right, I'm going to drop some of this stuff off back at the portal here, seeing as it's not far away. And then we'll see if we can make all of this happen. A little bit of a shame that I can't transport the metal scrap back. Would have been nice. Could always transport my smelters and stuff, but it didn't seem to unlock anything. Like I said, just recognized that it was a new, a new material, and that's it. But hey, it's a discovery, so that's something new. That's kind of what I was hoping for by approaching these guys. All right, let's create ourselves a chest. There we go. I don't think I'll need these, not here, now that I've created this. Um, mushrooms. Death skis, they are actually called death skidos. Hilarious. Okay, don't think I'll need the hoe then. Right, I think I'm good for everything else. I have no idea how many arrows these guys will take. Come here, you. Thank you. One stone. You're a one stone. You know what, because it isn't that far either, I'm just going to drop the portal stuff off in here as well. I don't think it's... I think it's very clever to take that with me when I can just come back for it. I don't know how this encounter is going to go. Probably the same deal with the food, but I am going to persist with it. Alright, it's also raining, so the fire arrows might not be as effective as I was hoping they would be. That's okay. Never mind, maybe it'll clear up. Yes, please. Nope. Ugh. That lightning makes it really hard to see. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Got any more deskidos around here? I think we're good. Yep, looks like we're good. There we go. Pop. Now, let's see if I can attract this attention over here. I think I got his attention. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that, that'll get his attention. He's not coming for me though. I wonder if I could... Alright, centre mass seems to be the way to go. Here we go. He's not happy, he's, he's lumbering off. Yeah, he's not happy at all. He must be close to death. Perhaps. Let's see if I can attract this guy in. Whoop! Here he comes. He's going to do the same thing, isn't he? Nope, he's coming for me. Alright, our good friend here is going to struggle. Excellent. That is as predicted. As expected. Just need to stay well away from whatever attacks he's got going on. I don't know if that's doing significantly more damage. Let's try this against... Okay, that seems to be better. Let's see if I can grab this guy. Oh, I am out of stamina. Did not do as much damage to him as I thought. Either that or his healing. Okay, I've got two minutes left on that. Let's... That should help. I can just pick this guy off this way. I would like to see what they drop. Ah, you cheeky... Come back. See if I can draw this guy over again. Oh, hello, right in the bum. Got his attention. This is working out well. Okay, yep, they can destroy those, so we'll stay well away from the edges. Just wait for the stamina to regen a bit. He's trying, he's trying to get up here. It's not quite working for him. One more hit should do it. Come on, one more hit, one more hit. Got him. Brilliant. What do we got here? Hey, Lox Pelt, Lox Rug, Lox Meat. Heavy pelt of thick, musty fur. This could be the sort of thing I need to go up into the hills to make warmer clothing. I reckon that would make a lot of sense. Alright, this guy's stuck. Let's see if we can unstick him. A little higher. Whoop. I should be able to kill him from here. If my aim is good. Not like that. That is crusty. Let's see if I can get closer. Here we go. Yep, just wanted to attract your attention. Over you come. Again, stay away from the edges. I appreciate that I'm not doing a super huge amount of damage. This is fine. I will live. Seems quite happy just to sit there. One more. Alright, cool. More of the same. Sweet. Brilliant. That went... That went way better than I thought it would. I kind of figured that they'd have a rough time pathing in. But I also wondered if they might just try and crunch the rock I'm standing on to get to me. Clearly they don't, so that's fine. 
Really couldn't have asked for a better outcome. That's good. Okay, it's handy to know that I can farm them that way. Do use up a lot of arrows, but I think it was worth it. What have I got there? So I've got... Yeah. Didn't unlock any recipes, though, so I can see another death skitter over there. Will I be cocky and try and take it out? I will. I got it. <laughs> I got it. Alright, so the real trick is going to be trying to discover these guys before they see me first. Cool. It's nice to know that this patch exists and that it's relatively close by. I can come here. Oh, there's, there's more. Snap. Alright, we're out of here. Your turn. Right, okay. Yeah, when I saw that thing lumbering across me, uh, lumbering across the plains in the previous episode, I kind of figured that they were, they were fairly heavy, that they were quite limited in their movement pattern. Not like trolls that just seem to bust everything open. Ugh. I actually meant to move then. Come on. You... Stagger, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's wait for some stamina, shall we? Okay, let's get out of here. Come on. Ah. Upsy doodle. So I think any time I do some planes farming, probably not a bad idea to bring these soups with me, but I don't have a lot of ingredients for them, so... Alright, well really the only thing that needs to stay here is the black metal. I can't, I can't do anything with it. Okay, I don't think I need to bring the hoe either. What I was thinking is I could use the hoe to cheaply level the ground, but I don't know that that would work very well. Uh, all of that stuff might as well stay. Let's get out of here. Alright. Experiment largely successful. I did have another idea for the death skidos. Um, and it was kind of around the same sort of concept, but uh, building a shelter, like I mentioned, with um, murder holes. Fairly large murder holes. I figured that they were big enough they probably couldn't slip through. But again, that was kind of to be determined. It's still something I could potentially test, but I think I've, I think I've slaked my curiosity there. For now, at least. Where did I put the stingers? There. Okay. So with five of these, and some feathers, I think it was, I can potentially make some arrows. I think is what it was encouraging me. What have I got here? I got ten locks meat. Holy crap. I mean, they are large, don't get me wrong. Let's see what happens if I cook a couple. Uh, it's too weak for locks meat. <laughs> uh, oh, game. You do play with me. Surely you jest, game. Actually, I can put the lock stuff in here. I don't think I can use that for anything. Alright, let's see if I can craft these arrows. I can. Needle arrows. Ah, it's four. Four needles. Okay, I thought it was five. For reasons. Yeah, nice. Needle arrows. Okay, I'll play around with those. I'm going to save those, obviously, for bigger things. 
probably wouldn't be bad to use them on the, um, the loxes. Let's get some rest. It's been a day. we still got swamps, and there are other plains to explore as well. I doubt that I'll find anything on those plains, but I will check them out, at least from a distance. Okay. I think in terms of food, I am going to leave... Because these are quite valuable, and I don't have enough of the ingredients, I'm going to leave them here. Uh, which also means I can leave these here too. I'm just going to take some of the regular food. Where's the honey? going to take some of this regular food with me. I think this will do for the swamps. Even though I have had some edge situations there. Oh, I, I need to craft regular arrows too. Stones. Those I'll keep because the wood might come in handy. That can pop in there. Alright, so in terms of arrows, it was like, it was wood, it was, you know, I think it needed some resin, more of this. I think wood's probably going to be the killer. Okay, fire arrows. Yep, we'll do another thing of those. Ah, flint is what I needed. go. I know flint aren't... Oh, missing eight wood. I know flint aren't the most powerful of arrows, but they serve me pretty well, I think. For now. 60, 80. Gotcha. Okay, let's put all of this gear back. Like I said, the arrows I'm going to save for a rainy day. That can sit there, and these can go back in here. Now, cloudberries. Because I figure the cloudberries are probably going to be relatively valuable, I know I can get lots of them, and I know I can farm them now, but I'm going to put them back in here for now, and I'll deal with that later. Really should test the ooze bombs this episode, too. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Thank you. Right, what do we got here? One of these and one of these. There we go. Right, let's get out of here. Let's continue exploring. So. That can go. We've still got this section here and a portion of the swamps up here to explore. Oh yeah. I'm only going to have a look into the plains area. I don't, I don't see any need to go in there specifically. If I can get a free shot, maybe at um, one of the death skeetos, then maybe. But I just want to have a quick squeeze and see if there's anything else notable, and we'll move on from there. It's for me, it's enough knowing that I can return to these areas and farm them if I want to specifically for locks and possibly even black metal scrap the greatest metal band of all time right let's play it oh wow there has been a whole other thing happening down there and what's that is that nope that's completely different we've never been to that shelter before Okay, we've got an ooze down there. What is down here? What am I seeing here? There's a lot of activity. I'm going to need to be careful. Oh, just missed him. He knows I'm coming.
I need to get the blob first. Gotcha. Probably foolish to try and take the blob that way, but whatever. No, I didn't bring my portal stuff. That's another silly thing I did. Let's stay prepared. What do we got here? The blob trophy. I got one of those before. What do we have here? Your face. But wait, there is more. some axe practice. Thank you very much. Gotcha. Got you too. Ooh, straight off. Take that. Good indeed. Where... Where's my consumables? Did I put my honey back? Are you kidding me? Did I not grab it out in the first place? You son of a... For fuck's sake, Blondie. This from a guy that plays Stalker. Mistakes are costly, man. Oh, great. Okay, well, this is just a shelter. It's not really anything special. I say just a shelter. It's a nice place to hunker down, I guess. Okay, what do I see that's special in here? Anything? Let's cruise this way. I see a Skillington. Yeah, I see you. Come here. Yes, it spotted me. He doesn't know I'm here, at least. Or does he? Okay, so a perfect parry blocks... Looks to block all damage. Let's see if I can nail this guy. Lots of weird noises coming from this place. Okay, this is the other planes here. I need to be careful I don't get too close. Not seeing what I would consider any other resources. There's a Deskito. I wonder if I could... Oh, that was way too low. Gotcha, you little mofo. Okay, we've got cladberries in abundance. 
definitely take a chance to stock up on these because I need a bit more in my diet. There we go. Yep, not seeing any other nodes or any notable resources just kicking around here. There's another Deskito though. Oh, he moved at just the right time. Come on. There we go. Right, let's grab that and move on. remember what Guck did for me. Not much, I don't think, but sure, I'll grab some. We're here. What was that? That's in the other biome. Down with you. a thistle? Yep, it sure is. Didn't know thistles grew here. Unless that's just part of a biome crossover. Alright, we got something here. Let's go in there and have a look. I can shoot you underwater. Yes, I can. And I don't even care what you drop. Ugh. Horrid, Blondie. Come on, you can do better than that. Sweet bugger all here too. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess you just have to look around and check these things out. Can't hurt. Can it? Not too bad. Yeah, I see you down there. Back you come. Okay, you're wasting my time. Let's go. Where did you go? Hello? Okay, this guy's just straight up vanished. I did not... Whoa! There is a thing that... That is an abomination. Okay. That is one of the things I was missing, I had not seen before. That thing moves surprisingly fast. Let's see if I can set this thing on fire. That doesn't seem to do a lot of damage. I get the feeling that I do want to kill this. See if I can... Okay, he seems to be a little bit stuck. Ugh. Beautiful. 
spear. I'm not doing a huge amount of damage to him, which is hardly surprising, given what he's made from. Let's see if I can paste him with a few more fire arrows. Ugh. Can't afford to miss. He's going to take a lot of damage. Hey, here. You better give me something good. Hey, come back here. Hey, 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 hey. We are not done. My abominable friend. Oh, great. Dragging in more of these clowns. Did you go? Ow. He's taken the long way around. Is that a turnip seed? It is. Alright, let's grab those. For sure. My guy, we are not done here. Let's see if I can nail this guy through here. Gotcha. That'll get his attention. Bring it, my abominable friend. This is basically a boss fight. With all the hit points that this guy's got. He's not happy. Mind you, you wouldn't be happy either if I was setting you on fire. There we go. Alright, got him. Got him. Yes, drop for me the good things. Oh boy, oh boy. Must get out of swamps. <laughs> How many freaking leeches are there? Holy crap. Alright, let's grab all of this stuff, or as much of this stuff as we can. Hey! Alright, there's some stuff here that I want to grab. I'll drop this. Cool. Alright, so we unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. I'll root for ancient tree stuff, fill a bit of flexible at the same time. That could potentially be used for a better bow. Formation trophy. That seems kind of lucky that I got the trophy on the first shot. Seems like trophies aren't always that easy to come by. Okay, well, we're officially full up on stuff, so I think it's time to head back. I really should have brought that portal. Gonna need to craft more arrows too. That was a work. Alright. Yeah, took a bit of damage there. Gonna need to be careful with these death skeetos. I can't see a damn thing either. That doesn't there's one right there. Speaking of which.
Alright, I think the best way to go is going to be back around this way. I don't think there's any real way to get around it. Going to have to try and head back. And avoid the planes if we can. Such a lucky little critter you are. Oh wow. I've aggroed something? Nope. They've aggroed each other. Took him out with one hit, I think. Dangerous. I can't even see that thing. There it is. It's going to have to go if I want to get past it. There's no way around it. I can't see it. As soon as it turns, it just kind of vanishes. I can't see it. I need to see its backside. Gotcha. Alright, I think that's the safest way to go. Come on, up, 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 up. There we go. Get up into the trees and hopefully be a little bit safer. Or at least within the realms of the things we can defeat fairly comfortably. Alright, let's head back. Jerks. All right, we're getting a conga line of these useless guys. Suck it in while you can. I'm surprised that didn't stagger him. <sighs> there are so many shiny things there, I'm kind of losing my character. Come here. Stuff off. So many shiny things we cannot collect. Oh well. I just want to get back home. Look at this bounty. Look at this stuff. Up you get. Come on, you were, you were on top of that thing. Don't toy with me, game. Alright, well, discovering more was definitely what I was hoping for. Hey, they just ripened in front of me. Come back and grab those in a tick. I think really what needs to happen is I need some rest. Pop the extra cloud berries in here and I want my honey back. Give me my damn honey. Whoops, not that one. 
Right. Alright, mead is ready as well, so we'll check that out in a tick. Let's repair all the bits. Right, so let's see if I've got some extra crafting stuff here. A root harnesk. Finally right and strong enough to turn even the sharpest blades. Armor of eight. Resistant versus pierce. Weak versus fire. We haven't found anything that's um that gives us a fire attack yet. Set effect three plus improved archery. The ancient roots help you focus your bow skill. Now that's cool. Okay, that's an incentive to seek more of these guys out. So, resistance versus pierce. I reckon that'd be really helpful against the death mosquitoes. Uh, root leggings. Weak versus fire. <clears throat> Improved archery. Blah, blah, blah. Bow 15. And... Is that it? There'll be a root helmet down here somewhere, right? Yeah, root mask. If it's perfectly inside, there's not a root bark, blah, blah, blah. Resistance versus poison, weak versus fire. Interesting. Cool. These actually seem pretty cool. Okay. Uh, what else have we got here? Did we unlock anything else? I know I could check the um, message thing. I just like looking through the list here because it reminds me of the stuff that I have crafted. Okay, cool. So it's really just the root stuff because of those ingredients. Yeah, benefits versus pierce and poison would do pretty well in the swamps, I think. So probably not a bad set of armor for the swamps and extra benefit versus pierce might be helpful against the Deskidos. What is my fully upgraded suit like? Armor of 12. Yeah, so I reckon that armor just by itself would be a clear upgrade, seeing as we're not f facing anything that's uh, fire-based yet. But I don't have enough roots, and I don't have enough ancient bark either. So I'm going to need to collect more of those things if I want to do that stuff. Anything else over here? Cultivator, you know, this is all plain Jane stuff. Not a problem. That's cool. Okay, well... That's more than I was expecting. Some blood bags. Let's put this back. That cost a lot of resources to kill. Okay. Right, this is all going to be full. Looks like we're going to need to craft a little bit more storage here. Uh, building. Floor. Floor. That'll do. Go. Okay, so you can go in there. Got some more ooze. I can make some more ooze bombs if I really, really want to. Turnip seeds to plant. I will plant those in a tick. And I'll go and check on the other turnips in a tick. Now that they have ripened up. Where did I put the... There we go. I can make more arrows. I've got enough. Um... You. Alright, what I really need now. Let's grab the flint. Okay. Let's make some more fire arrows. What am I. Hmm, okay. Yep, gonna need some more wood. I don't think I've got any wood left outside. Oh no, I do. Okay. Perfect. 60 and flint head arrows. take you up to the limit. Actually, I will do more fire arrows too. Right. 
Perfect. Let's go and put all of these ingredients back. Oh, that's satisfying. Yeah. Okay, that can stay in there. Flint can go back in here. And healing potions galore, man. That is excellent. Let's pop those there. Um, cool. So really it's just the turnip seeds we're going to check. So let's harvest these turnips and see what other goodies they give us. Hop. Spice rack. Intriguing. Grab you. A spice rack? Really? Okay, I'll bite. Cauldron improvement. Ah, I see. Okay, sure, let's do that. Three dandelion, three thistle, five mushroom. Three dandelion, three thistle, and five mushroom. Do I have another mushroom up here? I do. Okay. Let's craft this and see what happens. I'm gonna have to hang it from the ceiling. Ooh, black soup, sausages, I missed that. Turnip stew? Okay, let's have a look. Black soup, perfect balance of sweetness and acidity. Look at the health bonus. Oh, oh, baby. Three HP tick. That's a two HP tick, two HP tick. So this is, this is super powerful. But it needs turnips. Um... Meat, meat, sausages. Ooh, entrails, really? Gross. Disgusting. Health, 55 though. Holy crap. A muck shake. <laughs> it wakes you up. 50 stamina. Oh! Turnip stew, 55 stamina. Wow. Okay, turnips are good. Must have more turnips. I have three more to plant, so let's do that. Clearly, I need turnips. So, here's a question. And I don't know that anyone should be answering this, but... I just planted all of the turnips. I don't have any turnip seeds to replace them, as in I don't also get turnip seeds from harvesting turnips. So how do you how do you get more seeds? Surely you don't have to go hunting around for them. Surely that's not a thing, given how rare they are. Is there a way to cultivate the seeds? This is just me musing. Don't tell me. I'm sure that eventually all will be revealed. Let's put the good turn up here. Did I have carrots left over here? I did not. Carrots it is. Uh, hang on, what? What are the puke berries doing up there? I put them up there before, but they need to be down there. Cultivator. Right, let's go and... Hang on, what was that? A seed turnip. Plant a turnip to get more seeds. Ah, okay. Right, 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 right. I see. I see how this loop works now. Okay, I completely misunderstood. I'm glad I misunderstood. I just answered my own question. Okay, so if I pop that there, 
So, I mean, theoretically... Is this, can I pluck this? Okay, so let's try this with the carrot as well, while I'm here. Carrot seeds. Okay. I'll leave these two as they are. I want to see what happens to them. I want to see how many seeds we get from this. In the meantime, let's plant more seeds. Uh, get ourselves more turnips. Hop, hop, hop. There we go. All right. Understanding is good. That can go back in. I've only got ten or so minutes left in the episode. I really need to do some hunting. I'm running out of... Oh no, I've got some meat in here. Yep, grab three. But I am... Yeah, I've only got two left here. Probably not a bad idea to do a bit more hunting. I'm perfectly honest. Let's have a look at the map real quick. Okay, so there's still a section to explore. There's a mountain here. So I could actually explore this. Or attempt to with frost resistance. Um, I don't know if that would allow me to survive up there. That could be another part of the adventure, maybe next episode. But yeah, still got all of this to explore. Hopefully we'll run into one of those abominations again. I wouldn't mind trying to craft some of that armor. Seems like it would be helpful all round. Um, do we want to hunt for the last 10 minutes? I think it's not a bad idea. Let's go and see what we can find here. Need a bit more food. I heard a deer. I heard a deer. I mean, I heard a deer. I have no idea where it went. Might as well grab some necktails while we're here. interested in you. Alright, we'll forage while we're here. Certainly can't hurt. This really is a barren area. I keep expecting spawns to appear here and they don't. Alright, we're going to head back to our starting base, the original camp. That seems to have a lot better supply of animals nearby. This is almost a waste of time. Coming up here, there's nothing here. Let's check out base number one. I had to think for a second about where my base was. Alright, finding all of that new stuff is good, but clearly we don't have the equipment required to do anything with it. Didn't get any new recipes unlocked or anything silly like that. Just an acknowledgement that we have new stuff. No. 
Not gonna happen. Not on my watch. Oh. I was hoping I'd get lucky there. A little bit more foraging. I'll take that. I hear the deer, I can't see it. It's all practice. I am surprised that he did not come for me. There is something kind of comfy about going back to the old stomping grounds, hunting, doing a relatively easy activity after all of the stress of what happened previously. A lot of fun. I enjoy exploring. But it's pretty clear that we aren't really geared up for planes. Doesn't mean we can't shorthand it. But time we um, stuck up on some of the basics. This is part of the Valheim loop, I'm told, so... Axes are only 16. Alright, we're going to need to focus on those. Get a little bit more meat. I want to get a bit more meat. Oh, really? I heard the neck. It's around here somewhere. The hunting in this is not quite the same. Uh, but it reminds me a little bit of Kingdom Come Deliverance. There's a fair amount of skill involved in shooting a bow in Kingdom Come Deliverance. I don't know if you've ever played it. Really great game. You really need to... kind of be on your game. Come on. And put in a lot of practice with the bow in order to be proficient at it. I really enjoy playing that game actually, I wouldn't mind doing like a, a long play of that or something as well. The only thing that really disappointed me about that game was the combat, strangely enough. It's really satisfying to learn, but once you start getting into the meta, and I don't mean looking up the wiki or, or anything, I just experimented with different damage types and I found that blunt damage was by far and away the best damage type that you could do. It would punch through armor, it, it would damage quite significantly through armor, it would stagger enemies, and it was just far superior to using swords or any other types of weapons. It was just a no-brainer. And so it just kind of devolved into, like, leveling uh, a mace or something like that and going to town. You still required some skill to wield it, of course, but it was really disappointing to know that the weapons weren't quite as balanced as they could have been. That's about the only group I have though. Aside from that, it was so much fun to play. I really enjoyed my time there. Okay, we're approaching the 1 hour 30 mark on the recording. I want to try and grab one more deer and we'll head back. Where are you, my friend? Me? 
Are you around here somewhere? You're gonna be right behind this rock, aren't you? There it is. He's facing away from me. I thought he was facing toward. Oh. Crap. He's going out into the water. Oh, well. Gotcha. Definitely take some boar meat. Won't say no to that. Gonna say, where is that deer? I'm going to keep stumbling across them and it's going to be super, super hard to try and catch one. With any luck, we'll come across one on the way back. Another deer up here, I think. Yep. Got him. Okay. Perfect. That's what I was after. Now, someone also mentioned that it would be a good idea to drop a portal here. I agree, I did not bring portal stuff with me, and I was going to change out to Ikthia, but there's no point because the next episode is going to be a base building episode. Not that I anticipate gathering a lot of trees, but probably more beneficial than having, having run stamina. Yeah. Mine. All right, finally we are back. And something has destroyed our stuff. It's okay. That can be crafted back easily enough. I'm not too worried about that. Let's go home. Here we are. Alright. Let's repair up all the good stuff. I'm not going to mess around. I just want to get straight into bed here. Attempt another attack on me. That won't be fun. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's put away some of these trophies and bits and pieces. Stag trophy. Bop, we've got some skins. We've got a boar head. We've got a neck head. What else have we got here? What else can we put away? Let's put away some berries. Um... And meh, some of this. And the meats can go up here. There we go. I must have used, yep, used all of those. That's fine. I can deal with that. And some stone. Okay. That is pretty well the episode. I'm going to end it here. I think it seems like a good logical place to do that. And some wins out of this one. I am quite happy with that. Actually, before we do anything else. I want to check and see if these are ready. Not yet. Okay. That's fine. Didn't expect them to be. Oh, good. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vikings. Skull.